Ever wondered why some drivers can take sharp turns at high speeds while others seem to skid out of control at the slightest slip? Or why some motorcyclists can grip the road on rain-slicked streets without a hitch? The answer lies in a hidden ally, silently working to keep us safe, traction control. But here's the twist. Traction control is not as simple as it seems. It's constantly making decisions behind the scenes, balancing power, speed, and safety without you even noticing. And believe it or not, it's smart enough to know when you're pushing too hard. Let's dive into what traction control actually does. At its core, traction control is like a guardian angel for your wheels, making split-second decisions to prevent them from spinning out. Imagine you're in a car or on a motorcycle, hitting the gas just a little too hard on a slick surface. Without traction control, that extra power would overwhelm the tires, grip on the road, causing them to spin out. But with traction control, sensors pick up on this sudden slip in an instant. The system automatically adjusts either the throttle or the brakes to keep your wheels in line. In a sense, traction control steps in to say, hey, let's ease up here. Picture this. You're riding your motorcycle down a winding, wet road. Just a light touch on the throttle, and suddenly, the back tire slips. But if your bike is equipped with traction control, this split-second slip is detected by sensors on each wheel. The system tells the engine to momentarily reduce power, slowing the tire just enough to regain traction without any manual input from you. It's almost as if the bike can sense the danger before you can. How does this work? Modern traction control systems use a combination of sensors, including wheel speed sensors, to measure how fast each wheel is rotating. When the system detects that one wheel is rotating significantly faster than the others, it knows something's off. For a motorcycle, it could mean the rear wheel is slipping on a patch of gravel. The system then sends signals to either reduce engine power, or in some advanced cases, to apply a slight break on the faster spinning wheel. This subtle correction brings all wheels back into sync, so you stay stable and in control. But traction control isn't perfect. And here's the intriguing part. Sometimes it can actually hinder performance. Why would that be? Stick around to discover why traction control is a blessing in disguise, but not without its quirks. Imagine you're at the racetrack, pushing a sports car to its limits. Here's where traction control can be a double-edged sword. When the system senses even a hint of slippage, it jumps in to save the day by cutting power. But on a dry track where grip is ample, the system's intervention can feel restrictive. Professional drivers sometimes even turn off traction control to get the maximum power allowing for slight drifts and power slides that might make you faster around tight corners. Let's bring it back to the daily driver experience. Picture a winter morning, roads slick with ice, maybe a thin layer of snow. You start to accelerate and your wheels begin to spin. Without traction control, this could easily lead to a slide. But thanks to this system, the wheels maintain just enough grip to get you moving steadily. It's like having a winter driving coach riding shotgun, keeping your car from turning into a sled. Interestingly, traction control works a bit differently between cars and motorcycles. In a car, traction control primarily uses brakes to balance out wheel speeds. On a motorcycle, traction control typically manages power because braking in mid-turn could destabilize the bike. Modern high-performance motorcycles use highly responsive electronics to prevent the slightest wheel slip especially during acceleration or cornering. This is particularly useful for high-speed riding on varied surfaces or during abrupt accelerations. Now, traction control isn't just a city feature. It's tailored to work in different environments. On steep mountain roads, slippery off-road trails, or rain-drenched highways, traction control can mean the difference between maintaining control and ending up in a ditch. Most advanced vehicles now allow drivers to customize their traction control settings based on terrain, meaning you can adjust the sensitivity depending on where you're driving. So, the next time you're on the road, give a little nod to your vehicle's invisible safety net. It's there, watching your every move, ready to step in just in time. And if you're curious about other ways technology keeps us safe on the road, check out our next video on the secrets of ABS braking systems a close cousin to traction control and just as fascinating.